My name is Tara Lopez, and this is what it feels like. This is what it feels like project is an auditory interactive exhibit intended for men. It's an educational tool in the hopes that men will walk through and we can help shift our culture as to how we perceive and treat women in today's society. As you walk up to the exhibit, you will see our mission statement and our intent behind this project. As you walk through the nine by three foot hallway, it is completely blocked out, dim, and you will then see a pair of headphones hanging from the ceiling. You put those headphones on and you will then experience what it feels like to be a woman in today's society. Hey, what's up, girl? Hey, someone's acknowledging you. Fuck you, snubby bitch. Hey, you look like you give good what, head. What, you don't speak? Oh, fuck. Hey, girl. I'll suck your pussy. You should scream. As you walk out of the exhibit, there's a feedback wall with the simple question of how did it feel? It's disheartening to, to know that these are real experiences that people have. When you hear these words, you don't really think of the impact that they have on the other person. But when you put on those headphones and it's dark and you kind of forget who you are, you kind of experience that from the other person's point of view. They actually think that their attention is a gift. They think that they are so above whoever they're talking to that all women want attention. It felt a little too familiar. It couldn't stay in there a little too long. It instantly reminded me of what it's like to just walk. It made me feel small. The craziest thing to me was looking at myself in the mirror. Like being a man and looking at a man while hearing these things is pretty touching. It's pretty deep. I think it's very important that we don't subject women to, to this sort of abuse. My intent behind this exhibit is to help shift our culture and in the hopes that men will just treat women better. The inspiration behind this project was my partner's book club where I listen to women of all ages describe what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And it was also inspired by my own mother's situations in domestic violence and all that I saw growing up as a kid.